It is time for the Nebraska Dairy Update. I'm Chad Moyer. On today's program, we're going to visit with Mike Denning. He is uh, with Midwest Dairy as a manager of demand, and we're going to be talking about a couple of partnerships that uh, dairy farmers have through their checkoff program, uh, namely with Pizza Ranch and Freddy's. We'll talk about those in a moment. First of all, uh, Mike, thanks for being on with us. I- I'd like to get your thoughts about you know just partnerships in general uh, when you work with retailers, and in this case, restaurant chains. Chains. What what are the goals when the dairy checkoff partners with uh, the these types of businesses? Right. Well, thanks for having me today. It's a pleasure to be here. And uh, one of the important things about what we do with managing uh, checkoff dollars is that uh, you probably see us in retail uh, promoting items that everybody enjoys and loves: milk and butter and ice cream and all these things. Uh, but you may not be aware of that we also do promotion in the food service sector and pizza ranch is a perfect example of this. So one of the things that we try to do with our um, promotion approach is to, to tie uh, local production of fantastic dairy products into the places where they're actually used and served. And we find that by working with food service customers like pizza ranch, that uh, we can make that connection and really help develop a strong and sustainable dairy industry right to the community that we serve uh, the most. Yeah. Well, tell me about this partnership with Pizza Ranch. You said it's in, I think you're about year three with them. Uh, What what is that promotion and and how is it kind of developed a a community um, uh, amongst those that go to the restaurant and the dairy farmers in those areas? Well, one of the things that we try to do with our partnerships is that we try to accommodate the needs of their business. And with Pizza Ranch, they had some very specific needs that were much related to the pandemic. So one example that we had is that we brought in a promotion that uh, emphasized a new day part for Pizza Ranch, which is breakfast pizza. So we helped them with the formulation of the product, and then we marketed it for an entire year um, and then established that now it's a standard product they have. You can buy a breakfast pizza at a freezer in your local Pizza Ranch. It's fantastic. Uh, we also had a um, bring people back to the buffet, back to sit down restaurant promotion that was very successful for us and helped, you know, build traffic back into the restaurant. So what we're really trying to do is, you know, build our business of great dairy products along with theirs at the same time. Mm-hmm. All right. Now let's talk about this partnership with Freddy's. I understand this is a, a new partnership. So tell me how this all got started. How was the connection made and and, and what's the result of, of those discussions? So uh, one of the things that I do is, is, you know, I approach different partners that have um, a lot of locations within our geographic area, which is a 10 state area. So it, it kind of Nebraska sits right in the center of it. And Freddy's was just a, it's actually Freddy's frozen custard and steak burgers, but Freddy's was a really good partner in that regard. So uh, I was able to approach them with uh, some promotion concepts and ideas about supporting their business. And uh, lo and behold, we've come up with what's called a limited time offer or LTO, as they say in the biz. And the LTO is a frozen custard concrete, which is two scoops of frozen custard combined with a full slice of key lime pie and uh, topped with uh, um, graham cracker crumbles. And I've had it myself. It's fantastic. You have to try one. It's available through the end of August at any Freddy's Frozen Custard. All right. Now, I think you said, too, that there is a a double cheeseburger that you could get with that, uh, kind of a, a part of that promotion as well. Right. So the LTO also incorporates a double cheeseburger that um, also includes Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. So it's a barbecue bacon double cheeseburger. That's a mouthful. And then it's a side of cheese curds. So the cheese curds also come with a special uh, sauce that Freddy's Frozen Custard has. And uh, it's certainly an enjoyable combination. All this is available through the end of August. Mm -hmm. All right. Mike, as we kind of wrap up this conversation, you know, whether it's Pizza Ranch or uh, uh, Freddy's uh, or or the other, you know, uh, retail and and food service partnerships that you've done, uh, this really does foster a a sense of community, doesn't it? The undeniably dairy and what that all stand, what stands behind that. uh, that, That's all very prominent in these things, too, right? 
Well, building community is, is really our first objective because we do want to make the connection between where people's food is uh, grown and produced and then where it's consumed and purchased. And there's no better way to do that than uh, the full circle approach we have with our dairy partnerships um, across both retailers and food service customers. Absolutely. Mike, thanks for coming on and telling us about it. Appreciate it very much. Again, we've been visiting with uh, Mike Denning. He is a manager of demand with Midwest Dairy, your dairy checkoff showcasing uh, a couple of uh, food service partnerships, those with Pizza Ranch and with Freddy's as well. That is today's Nebraska Dairy Update. I'm Chad Moyer reporting.